And welcome Rattler fans, the big one every year. This time in volleyball. Crosstown rivalry renewed. The Incarnate Word Cardinals visiting your St. Mary's Rattlers. David Tovar, Kayleen Selznak with you. Pretty even matchup we're about to see here. Your St. Mary's Rattlers come in with an overall record of 12 and 7. 4 and 4 here at home. Uh, they're better on the road 5 and 3. Even though they picked up a tough loss over in Laredo at AM International last Thursday. They take on an Incarnate Word team that has struggled in the Lone Star Conference. A little tougher conference there. They are 4 and 7 in their conference, 7 and 12 overall. So the records flip but the teams they beat have been very very much quality and the six on the floor for the Rattlers to begin Jenna Paul Taylor Obermiller Kelsey Huber Victoria Martinez Carly Ortega and Ali Murray here's Murray with the set Ortega hits it hard and Carter Ward leads it early by one and Martinez not able to rescue that one as that one floats out of bounds Duo score. That one was stuck in the net. I got my audio issues figured out. And this one off the hands of number 11, Daniel Suarez, the junior from San Antonio Antonian. And that gives the Rattlers their first point of the game. Kayleen, interesting atmosphere we have. The Rowdy Rattlers in full effect couple of Greek fraternities, sororities, a lot of students out at that pep rally. I don't know if you were to catch a, a glimpse of it. Uh, yeah, I, I did see it when I when I, when I was walking in. Um, that's great to see the spirit on game day, especially against Incarnate Word, our cross town rivalry. Um, in warm-up, they look to be pretty evenly matched. I think this is going to be a great game. And it began just as such. 2-2 two -two is the score. Back to serve is Ortega. Delivers. Here is UIW Suarez. Blocked well by Obermiller and Paul. Still in possession of the Cardinals. That one hit lightly. Now Paul puts it over. UIW going to return it. Very strong. That's in. And nicely done there. Number 13, Bailey Shader. 3-2 gives the edge toward Incarnate Word. And really always a rivalry, the Crosstown rivalry. Both used to be members of the Harding Conference. Now only St. Mary's remains. Uh, Incarnate Word moving into the Lone Star Conference and then going to slowly start creeping their way into the Southland Conference, the conference that UTSA moved out of. So this crosstown rivalry, only a rivalry in that. Uh, these don't count for conference games anymore, of course. I think our rivals are starting to become more, of course, St. Edwards and Texas A&M International. But of course, these ten, and maybe even our Lady of the Lake that we saw last time we were here inside Bill Green Arena. As Taylor Obermiller gets another one to go here for the Rattlers, brings them within one. But still, as the student body has just shown, this is still the rivalry and the game to come to. Must see action. Absolutely. Every game against Incarnate Word, it doesn't matter what sport it's in, it's always going to be a great atmosphere to play in and to be a part of as a student population. Kay Kayleen, I don't know if you were a, if you were here to see the basketball incarnation of the Cardinals and Rattlers last season. It was it was ruckus. It I was, don't know where else I would have been. <laughs> and it was just pandemonium. I don't think I've ever heard the Bill Green Arena that loud. Uh, I think men's basketball is probably the most insane atmosphere when it comes to Incarnate Word. And I've grown up watching these two teams go, go uh, battle it out on the court. And it's always a great atmosphere. It's It's... There's nothing else like it. Not at all. I, I really would dare say the best rivalry in San Antonio collegiate sports. UTSA doesn't have a rival. Uh, Our Lady of the Lake doesn't really have a rival. Rival, and, and really here in San Antonio, it doesn't get bigger than St. Mary's and Incarnate Word. I mean, I guess you can go to high schools to it, but as I said, collegiately, it's Cardinals Rattlers. I as, would wholeheartedly agree with that. As the Cardinals lead it by one, here come the Rattlers trying to get back into this one. Nice save there by Martinez, Murray, and now Heft. Great shot there, and Kelsey Lynn not able to return that one. 5-5 five, five even. When you talk about, uh, I'm sure you've witnessed quite a couple of basketball Cardinals-Rattler games. 
one of my first memories, I think I was a junior in high school. I came, I, I think uh, my big brother was a freshman here at the Marys. I came and saw Cardinals Rattlers. I believe that game was a double overtime. I don't know if you remember that one. Uh, a classic. And Carnet Word, unfortunately, was able to take that one. But a classic, and I was enthralled by then. Uh, it was such, uh, it, it was so ESPN-like. I mean, something you see on your TVs. 5-6. So if you haven't had a chance, I believe that game between the men's basketball team and the Incarnate Word Cardinals is on November the 14th. At Incarnate Word. At Incarnate Word to, sure. to kick off. No, they're going to kick off the season, I think, over there. You know what? We're going to get that. Confirmed. Confirmed. Because I don't want to lie to our public. Definitely not a game that you want to miss. No. Absolutely and, not. And I'm sure you guys already have it marked on your calendars. As here come the Rattlers trailing by one. It's been back and forth. The ladies are really looking great tonight. I think they've come out with a lot of energy, and they've come out very strong, a lot stronger than I've seen them coming out in games in the past. So they're doing a great job so far. Yeah, they were swept in their last game against A&M International. They lost in three straight sets, 22-25, 21-25, and 16-25. And that was a weird loss because I believe what had happened was they... A&M International had originally scheduled the game for Friday and they weren't aware that the game was actually on Thursday. So when the Rattlers traveled down there, they were under the impression that they were playing Thursday and so was everybody else, the refs and yeah, all the ref. compliance officers and everything. And the... Everybody uh, but Incarnate, uh, but A&M International. International. And so, yeah, they... they uh, to bring all their players in and, and get them ready to play a game and... It was crazy that the Rattlers just got swept in three when A&M International wasn't even anticipating the game until the next day. Yeah, so the Rattlers with a lot to prove here, and what better way to get back on track than against Crosstown Rival Incarnate Word. That point goes to the Rattlers. Violation caught there. And uh, j just to confirm now, men's basketball opens up on the 14th over at Incarnate Word. And then the game here won't be until Tuesday, December the 4th. So we, we're still about a month and a half away from Cardinals Rattlers here inside Bill Gree here Arena. 7-8 is the score. Martinez with the serve. Set nicely by the Cardinals. Martinez keeps it open. And the point goes to the Incarnate Word. Seven nine the score. Ten the score, and St. Mary's keeping it close. Incarnate Word trying to pull away as we approach the midway point of the first set. Remember, Rattler fans, find us on Facebook, like our page, facebookcom St. Mary's Rattlers. Also, follow us on Twitter at St. Mary's Rattlers. Killing sells back, pulling double duty on the broadcast, and also tweeting away. Nine ten, Rattlers bring it in closer. And then, of course, Robin Johnson and Chad Peters not here with us this evening. Check out their content on RattlerAthletics.com. 9-10 is the score. Woo! That one is hit hard. That's Angelique Vidari. San Antonio Southwest graduate. Just gives the Rattlers another point to even this one up. 10-10. Again, as we approach the midway point of half number one. Again, here come the Cardinals. Hit well by Martinez, set by Murray. And now this is Jenna Paul, and it was rejected. Well done there, Daniel Suarez again.
score. Incarnate Word back in the lead, and they serve. That's Lydia Wurchin. The libero. And one goes out of play, and it'll be possession for Incarnate Word and an extra point there, 13-11. hits the net. Those are tricky, Kayleen, when they hit the net. I mean, how do you react as the defense? Well, the defense obviously is already set, and they're anticipating a hit that doesn't clip the net, so it's a little bit harder when you're stuck in your defensive stance to move forward, so you end up really just diving for the ball, trying to pancake it up. Rattlers lose a point there. Still trailing by two. 14-12 the score. Here they come again. Here's Hef. Kept alive by the Cardinals. Put over. Met by Ortega. Almost colliding with Martinez. Here's Huber. Sends that one over. Nice rally in the making here. Blocked well by Overmiller and Holman. And point goes to the Rattlers. Double tap. Called on the Cardinals. And so that'll swing possession over to the Rattlers. Brings them within one. Martinez not able to get to that one. And another point for the Rattlers. Martinez, here's Heft. Hit well there. And Melissa Heft gonna draw that point for the Rattlers again. Within one here midway through the first set. 14-15 is the score. Oh, big serve there. Way to play it by Michaela Bass. Hit well by Huber. Nicely done, Ortega. That's Bass, and Ortega again. Cardenas. Sent over, Martinez, Bass, oh, hit hard. Double tap one more time by Incarnate Word. That'll even things up at 15 apiece. And neither of these teams want to give an inch. No, they've, they've been playing really, really great so far. And I, th I think that they just feel the pressure of the game. It's a huge game, even if it doesn't count for either of their conference standings. It's still a big game. You don't want to disappoint whoever is watching. Yeah, it's one you don't want to lose indeed. 16-15 the score. Timeout on the floor. Rattlers have taken a one-point lead. Stay with us. More upcoming on Rattlers Ustream Live. Welcome back, Rattler fans. The Crosstown rivalry renewed. This time it is volleyball between the St. Mary's Rattlers 
and the University of the Incarnate Word Cardinals. David Tomar, Kayleen Selznak with you. Rowlers hold a one-point lead here midway through set number one. And a lot of Rowlers coming out in full force. The Rowdy Rattlers, we talked about a couple Greeks, student groups, and Rowler students and Rowler faithful. But correct me if I'm wrong, Kayleen, maybe my eyes deceive me. Not a lot of Cardinal aficionado this afternoon. I don't see a whole lot of yeah, uh, I, I Cardinal see, fans. See I mean, across sprinkled. the way, there may be 20, 30. Yeah, at uh, most. I mean, compared to the maybe 100 Rattler fans here. <laughs> and that one gets away from the Cardinals. Victoria Martinez is going to be credited with that score. Yeah, maybe the inclement weather, having to do something with it. Uh, a lot of uh, construction going on on the roads to get from there to here. A lot of construction on campus, even. Yes, yes, indeed. The new uh, tennis courts, baseball and softball complexes. Soccer fields as well. I mean, a lot of things going on here at St. Mary's. And right now, the Rattlers with the lead. Oh, great rally by the Lady Rattlers. Here's Ortega, puts it over. Now the Cardinals got to respond. Way too strong, too much on that one. That's off Kelsey Lind. And the, uh, I believe, sarcastic chance of MVP from the Rowdy Rattlers. That one's a new one. <laughs> Victoria Martinez with the serve. Oh. I'm a, pretty sure that's about, like, three or four aces that she's had in the past, like, five serves. Yeah, she has been terrific this afternoon. That's off Elizabeth Sokup. And I was about to call her an ace. I didn't know that was the, uh, that is an ace, I believe. Yeah. Had that one right. 20 to 15, Rattlers are beginning to pull away, but as we've come to find out, the Rattlers uh, playing with the lead is not always a sure thing. They look to change that culture here in this set number one to begin. Here's Holman, strong, way. A little bit of a low set from Bass. Kind of hard to get on top of it when it's so low and risk hitting it into the net. Yeah, Kayleen, I don't know if you're a, a Cowboys fan. Oh, I believe you're not allowed to be a Cowboys fan. Chiefs fan, I believe you're um, yeah, yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate. <laughs> okay, well the Cowboys, yeah, remind me of Bailey's kick. A little too, uh, it was, had the strength, but that's not accurate. Rattlers grab their point back, 21-16. Substitution time, Allie Murray and Taylor Obermiller in for Michaela Bass and Lauren Holman. So back to serve will be Allie Murray. And Allie Murray is the only senior. I actually sat down with her today for an interview. And her story will be written in the uh, senior issue. I believe that two Saturdays away. But it was really nice to be able to sit down and talk to her and get to know her on a different level. She's the captain this year, and she's been doing a great job of leading the team. She's taken young setter Michaela Bass under her wing and really um, making sure that she knows what she is expected to do next year. And, and I think that uh, we can look for really she'll be able to fill those shoes next year. More on Murray as the Rattlers are three points away from taking set number one against the Cardinals. Stay with us. More coming. Rattlers, you stream live. Welcome back, Rattler fans. Three points away from a from clinching set number one for St. Mary's, 22 to 16, and that's another ace right there. That's Allie Murray. That will not return off the hands, I believe, of number four Kelsey Lynn, the outside hitter, sophomore from Lindale. Kelsey Lynn from Lindale, kind of writes itself. 23-16. Allie Murray again. Here's Lind. This time gets a hand on this one. Well by, by Martinez. Leads the team in digs. Ooh, Huber. <laughs> Set point upcoming for St. Mary's. And they look 
terrific. They really rebounded. They, they struggled with it on Lady of the Lake. Many, many very question, questionable and worried questioning that game. It was one that the Rattlers should have probably taken in three. It went to four and two epic sets. And here against the UIW Cardinals who play in a well more recognized as a tougher conference. They are really uh, owning this set number one as they drop that point here at 24-17. I hope I didn't speak too soon. Uh, this one is in possession of Incarnate Word, number 11, Daniel Suarez, to serve. It's met by Martinez. Here's Murray. Oh, put over nicely. And that point is to the Rattlers. So the Rattlers will take set numero uno, 25-17. Stay with us, Rattler fans. More upcoming as the Crosstown Rivalry renewed on Rattlers Ustream Live. Welcome back, Rattler fans. The start of set number two sees the Rattlers 
put the first point on the board. They want set number one, 25-17. David Tovar, Kayleen Selznak with me. Rattlers looked very good in that first set, Kayleen. They did. They came out with a lot of strength, and uh, they really just pushed through the back and forth at the beginning of the first set, and they finished, finished well. Rattlers coming into this one with a 12 and 7 record, 4 and 4 in conference play. This one, of course, not going to go in the conference record. They are 4 and 4, 500 at home. They take on an incarnate war team that is 7 and 12. Overall on the year, they've beat, they've beat some pretty good teams. And here they trail one set to nothing. 2 0 here in set number two to the Rattlers. Rattlers are playing terrific here. And another point here for the Rattlers over Miller. And the Rattlers open up a 3 0 lead. Here's Murray. That's Paul Ortega. And the Rattlers have come out firing here in set number two, 4 0 lead. They've really struggled from playing with a lead. They did it in set number one. They pulled away and stayed away. Here comes the Cardinals, woo, hit hard. And that's Martinez taking that tumble there. Martinez, Murray, Jenna Paul. That's ruled in. Point number five for the Rattlers here, 5-1 the score. Ortega Cardinals and they get that one so the Rattlers it's out point Rattlers 6-1 and then Carnet Ward is going to want to talk it over trailing by five early on in set number two stay with us more upcoming Rattlers Ustream Live Welcome back, Rattler fans. 6-1 lead in set number two for the Rattlers. Looking to increase that one. Cross on rivalry renewed. That's off the hands of number 13, Bailey Shader. And they would put that over. And 7-1 lead here for the Rattlers. Kayleen, is it possible that the Rattlers can, do, can make quick work of these Cardinals? You know, I think if they continue playing the way that they did in the first set, that's definitely possible. Put over well here by Murray. Cardinals trying to keep it alive. That's Cardinals. Here's Murray. Sent by Paul. Huber hits it hard. This is really the best overall all-around play that I've seen from the Rattlers this season. They're playing great defensively. They're light on their feet. They're, they're getting to all the balls that, are, that they haven't been previously in the season and they're really putting the ball down on the offensive side. 8-1 and that score really reflected everything you just said. They have played sensationally and the Cardinals in disarray there. Not quite sure what they were going for. And another timeout taken. 
Rattler fans will take one with them. Stay with us. More of coming. Cardinals Rattlers on Rattlers. You stream live. Welcome back, Rattler fans. 9-1 lead for your Rattlers in set number two. Inside Bill Greer Arena. You got our uh, very own Kaylin Selznack tweeting away and also broadcasting at St. Mary's Rattlers. Facebook.com slash St. Mary's Rattlers. Rattlerathletics.com. And the incarnate word of Cardinals just in disarray. Not really connecting, not really communicating. And that scoreboard again showing that off. 10-1 is the score. We'll take this time to remind you, Rattler fans, uh, Rattler Madness is only nine days away, October the 25th, the biggest party of the fall semester. Rattlers grab another one there, and I think the party's going to start early tonight. 11-1 is the score. Shuffling the deck are the Cardinals here. Substitutions. Ortega floats one over. Way too strong there. That's off number 13, Bailey Shader. Here's Carly Ortega with a serve. 12-1 the score. As we approach the midway point of the second half, a lackluster half in competitiveness, but the Rattlers shining right there. And that's Owen Miller with another point there, 13 to 1. Are you nominating Taylor for MVP? We have our very own Holden Host already nominating. I guess we can start that vote as well. Uh, tweet us who you think is the MVP of the game thus far. And I guess, Kayleen, I'll shoot it over to you. Who do you think has been the MVP thus far? Uh, I really actually think Victoria Martinez. She's had some great plays today. And she, she's been very consistent, especially with those aces in the first set. I think she's done a great job so far. Just setting the tone, I assume, for the, mm -hmm. for the Rattlers in general. They lead it by 11, 13-2. Oh, that one is heavy. Cardinals keep it alive. Well done. <laughs> but they're not getting into that one. That one was terrific. Kelsey Huber. Even hits the uh, the back judge there. 15 to 2, midway through this second half. That one's out again. Kayleen, what is what is it with these with these hits that is making Incarnate Word not connect? You know, as, as strange as it sounds, maybe they're just in a funk. I mean, they, I watched them hit during warm-ups, and they've been doing a great job. But, I mean, I guess they just, I don't know, maybe they used up all their hits in practice. Who knows? I'm a huge believer in that. You know, uh, I'm an avid recreational basketball player. I don't want to take and make all my jump shots during the warm-ups because uh, then I feel like I, I lose them for, uh, for the actual game. So your theory could hold some water there. But nonetheless, 
A lot of credit given to the Rattlers. They've played, they've played sensational. 17-2 as that scoreboard saying. to two. Seaver grabs another one for the Rattlers. Substitution time. Murray and Obermiller out. Holman and Bass in. with the scoreboard there. I don't know if it uh if we can keep count anymore. Cornet Word grabs that one. Seventeen four is the score. Here is the Rattlers. And Melissa Heff grabs another one. Eighteen four now. Well, there by Huber and Heft and Bass hit the ground. Not able to return that one. 18 5 the score. <laughs> Too strong there by the Rattlers. It comes off the hands of one of the Cardinals. So it'll be another point for St. Mary's 19 5. Home cooking really working for St. Mary's. Kelly, we're about 45 minutes in, and it's already a 2-0 lead. The Rattlers trying to make quick work of this. And it was a sloppy play there. That's number three, Lydia Wurchin. You know, the Cardinals side is really quiet compared to the Rattlers, and I don't know if it's just this atmosphere that's intimidating them or if they're just getting discouraged because of the way that they've been playing. I mean, a 15-point deficit is definitely... I mean, discouraging. Ah, and Martinez there. Now that we get that serve over. I think I mean, they're trying to take what they can right now. Looking here at the schedule, if my eyes are serving me correctly, I believe this is the only meeting of the year for these two teams, so there will be no return game over at Incarnate Word. Kaylee, you can check for me. Maybe I got it wrong. And ooh, miscommunication there. Holman and Martinez. Excuse me, that's Huber and Martinez. Trying to buy for the same volleyball. 20 to 17, that one hits the net. Almost caught the defense looking. Ortega, that one's off the hands of number 16. Elizabeth Sokov. Playing for the Rattlers, 21-7, four away from taking set number two. Another point there. 22-7 now. Point for St. Mary's. Hit well there by Murray. Oh, Martinez, great dig. Sent back, Martinez again. Sent by Murray, hit hard. That's Taylor Obermiller. That's the connection they, they have. Kaylee, did, did Ali mention her and Obermiller's uh, terrific play? She did not. I did not ask wow. about her and Obermiller, but um, 
I mean, she's been working with her for the past two years, so obviously there's some chemistry between them. And that player right there showed it off. 23-7, make it 24-7. I didn't even get the score off before it changed. Set point here for St. Mary's. They look to take a commanding 2-0 lead and not even allowing Incarnate Word to get to double digits and see if they can do it. Allie Murray with a serve. Here come the Cardinals. That one's hit well. Martinez all the way almost hitting the uh, Antennas. They hit the antenna, almost hitting the scoreboard, I think, up there. I'm not sure what you call that. It's not a jumbotron. There's it's no not. TV. It's uh, we'll just call it the jumbo scoreboard. The jumbo scoreboard. <laughs> well put. We're just naming furniture here inside Bill Gurry Arena. And it's uh, definitely been the Rattlers Arena here. They have dominated this second set 24 8. Head coach for. Incarnate word, Jennifer Montoya, having a word with one of her players. Trying to shuffle this lineup, trying to see what's going to stick, if anything. And nothing has really been sticking here for Incarnate Word. Oh, digged well by Ortega. Albert Miller. Well versus Murray. And that will do it for set numero dos. Rattlers in stunning. And convincing fashion, 25-8, they take it. Stay with us, Rattler fans, more upcoming set number three. Rattlers try to put it away here on Rattlers Ustream Live.
Welcome back, Rattler fans. Set number three about to get underway inside Bill Gray here Arena. The Crosstown Rivalry renewed. University of the Incarnate Word visiting your St. Mary's Rattlers. David Tovar, Kayleen Selznak. And Kayleen, what a impressive set number two we saw from St. Mary's. They won that one in just easy, convincing fashion, 25 to 8. Yeah, I really think that that second set really just proves what the Rattlers are capable of. When they're on, they can kill a team. Yeah, they really did. Uh, and uh, Arnold Ward getting that first point. Pretty important to them uh, to not get off how they did. I believe they trailed 10 to 1 at one point to begin that second set. And here they have the first point of set number three. Ortega. Arnold Ward fumbling this one around. Get it over, here's Martinez, Jenna Paul, and now Ortega. Big hit there, answered well by Incarnate Word. Ooh, nice stuff there. A lot of miscommunication on the red side. Taking a tumble, does Paul. Here's Ortega, trying to put it in open space. Nice rally here for the second point of this set. Terrific play by the ladies. Ooh, put over nicely. Trying to catch my breath here. And Incarnate Word comes up with that one, Kayleen, and, and those kinds of rallies, I mean, you really want to come up with that point. Yeah, you definitely do. It's a lot of, it's, it's a lot to like show for that long rally, but what I was always taught is after a long rally, probably like four or five times back and forth, it's smart to just dump the ball just because they're expecting a hit. But if you just find that hole and you put it there, then they're really not expecting it because they're already set back on defense. A little pep talk, I assume, uh, for the Cardinals, really, has got them going early in set number three. They lead it 3-0. Rattlers winning set number one, 25-17, winning set two, 25-8. And here trailing early on in set number three, rejected that one. Oh, the Rattlers, yeah. The, excuse me, the officials are arguing about the call one of the points going it went to the Rattlers as Ortega's shot was blocked out of bounds 3-1 the score Rattlers finally on the board here in set number three Ortega that's Murray Huber hits it hard double tap there 4-2 remember Rattler fans to like us on Facebook facebook.com slash St. Mary's Rattlers also on Twitter follow us at St. Mary's Rattlers I believe Kayleen's put the uh, oh Robin Johnson has taken over the, uh, the tweeting for this episode number three that one is way strong out of play and of course Rattler fans join us October the 25th Rattler Madness from Bill Gree here you know the tailgate Starts at 7 p.m. Sponsored by Red Bull and the SGA. And then, of course, the main attraction where you'll meet your 2012-2013 men's and women's basketball teams. Plus fun music, games, and prizes. Inside Bill Curry here we know on the 25th, 9 p.m. Mark your calendars. Five points here for the Cardinals as they lead it by two over St. Mary's. Looking a little bit forward into the future the Rattlers have a slew of home games finally hit hard by Holman and the Cardinal defense has really stepped it up here in set number three nice rally Take that exactly one. what I was talking about earlier. After a long rally like that, it's just it's smart to go to the hole where they're not expecting it. And the Rattlers attacking precisely that hole, and they're able to grab the point there. Looking forward into the schedule Thursday, the University of Texas of the Permian Basin 
comes into Bill Gray here in them. Then a double header on Saturday. Noon is McMurray, followed by 4 p.m. Southern Arkansas. And then Thursday the 1st, Newman University. Then Saturday the 3rd will be University of Arkansas Fort Smith. So I believe six out of seven home games for the St. Mary's Rattlers. They'll be in Kingsville on the 30th, Halloween Eve. 4-6 is the score. Rattlers trying to put this one away in three. And with vicious hits like that, Melissa Hef. They might be well on their way. 5-6 is the score. So well by the Rattlers. Trying to keep it alive and that's Michaela Bass not able to. Maybe the set up from Bass, not exactly what Obermiller expected. I think this is a different combination than what we normally see. We normally see um, Murray on with Obermiller. But I think Bass, did Bass start in this set? I believe she, I believe she did. And maybe this is Coach Warmick Chipman trying to find some new lineups, some new rotations. I mean, you won that second set in dominant fashion. I guess you can tweak, tweak and, uh, and see what you got. I'm not too sure that this is a, the match to do that, but I, I definitely admire what she's trying to do, pushing Bass into that spot that Murray normally is in. Kayleen, I completely agree. I think if you've got this team down, you want to definitely put them away. 7-8, and the Rattlers back on track, down by one. And a lot of credit to the Cardinals. They've played well in this set. Really regrouping and really using that uh, the intermission between second and third set to regroup. That one's ruled in. A little dicey. Seven nine the score. There's Ortega. Obermiller put over. Kaylee, okay. anything different that the Rattlers are doing, or I guess not doing, that has them in this predicament? Um, I mean, I think their defense is not as great as it has been in the past set, but... Um, I mean, the communication is still there. Their offense is still doing a great job of putting the ball down. But I think the Cardinals really just stepped it up this set. And their defense is where it's supposed to be. And they're getting the balls up that they haven't gotten up in the past couple of sets. Agreed. I guess a lot of credit does go to the Cardinals. They've played pretty well in this set. Albert Miller able to score here. 8-11. Murray and Holman. And now you'll see a different substitution here. You'll see the veteran setter and the up-and-coming freshman hitter. Murray back to serve. There, Ortega floating. Ah, tough rally there to lose, and that one hitting the jumbo scoreboard as we dubbed it. It's still playable when it comes down on your side. Yeah. I believe that's the uh, rule here in the Americas. Not sure that translates to Olympic or overseas play. I'm just trying to sound informed. I'm not. I'm not too sure how that would work at, at the Olympic level. 
I don't know that they had the jumbo Score scoreboards that close. Yeah, <laughs> I think they're uh, they prepare for these things. They're a little bit a little bit different of an arena. Yeah, of uh, the venue. Yeah. <laughs> Eight twelve is the score. Cardinals with possession, and they really shown a different side to them in this set number three. They now have a five point lead. I believe is the largest of their night here inside Bill Gray here and they're continuing. Murray, that's Jenna Paul, hit strongly. Murray sends it back, not sure what she was trying to do there. Too strong there. And he goes to the Rattlers, Rattlers wisely let that one go. I really remember, I think that's what did the Cardinals in in these last two sets. So very inaccurate and very strong hits. That right there, an example of, of one. Here's Murray again, set by Paul. Huber. And Martinez, and then we get to that one. I don't know, the, was that a tip off the block? I believe it. They rolled it off Martinez. I don't know about that one. I, I, I don't, don't know. think they made contact either. I, I agree with you. It didn't look like she did. But I guess the line judge sees what he sees. Definitely his vantage point better than ours. 10-14. Rattlers still in it here. Set from Allie Murray gets one to go here, 11-14. Then the ball gets one off the serve. Cardinals putting it over. Here's Jenna Paul, Ali Murray, Melissa Heft. Recovered by the Cardinals. Blocked well. Kept alive by Holman. Now Heft again. Cardinals trying to keep it alive. Too strong and well done there. Rattlers trailing by five. They are able to climb back. They've cut the deficit to one. Six on the floor for the Rattlers. Paul, Ortega, Huber, Holman. Obermiller and Heft. Excuse me, Huber, not Obermiller. And just like that, Cardinals right back up by two. Nice rally there as Victoria Martinez back to check in for Jenna Paul. I believe you have no freshman on that court now for St. Mary's. I think experimenting time is over. Midway through set number three, Rattlers lead it two sets to none. And there is Lauren Holman. Holman the freshman, is the, the a freshman. freshman. I stand corrected there. Obermiller now checking in for Holman and Bass in for Murray. Now Bass is the only freshman on the court. As so we are midway through this set, numero trace. Oh, blocked well. Sent back. Kelsey Huber, she has been terrific. And I guess it's my time for an MVP pick. Kelsey Huber's been terrific all season long. Kelsey Huber is holding the, uh, next to me, trying to get an explanation out of me. Kelsey Huber's been terrific all season long, and a hit like that, she's been terrific. Obermiller is his pick. Yours was Martinez. Remember, Rattler fans, tweet us at St. Mary's Rattlers. Point to the Rattlers, and just like that, they grab the lead. Tied at 15. It's now 16-15. Michaela Bass has served. She's had a nice little streak here, about two or three serves since she's subbed in. And the Rattlers have played well with her delivering the service. Go. 
off the hands of the Rattlers. That'll be point for Incarnate Word. Seventeen sixteen, and Incarnate Word has come back to take this lead as we approach the ending of set number three. Crosstown rivalry renewed. Incarnate Word, St. Mary's from Bill Gray here. Arena. Melissa Half hits it hard. Blocked well by Overmiller. Ball still live. Point to the Rattlers. And I believe that's four hits going uh, the other way against the Cardinals. Rattlers tie this one back up at 17 apiece. That's on heft. Nice bump there by Huber. Oh, Martinez, terrific. Should have let that one go. Kept alive. One more bump puts it over. Nice rally there by the Rattlers. Here's Heff puts it up. Set again. Ah, and Overmiller just not able to get all of the hand on that one. 19-17, and Incarnate Word poised to break the 20th point plateau early. Set here, met by Ortega, set by Bass. Here's Ortega, strong hit, that went into the crowd. And it looks like uh, Roddy Rattlers might take a souvenir home. And I think it'll be uh, hard for these, uh, for the officials to get that ball back. Surprising to become like a beach volleyball kind of thing. With this crowd, yeah. you really could have seen that happening. Yeah, it could have been popped. 18-19, <laughs> Rattlers within one, keeping it alive. That's Bass. That was some heat. That's uh, Jenna Paul. Strong, that one lands outside. I think it landed on the line. I it, think was that's, that's it. it was close. Yeah. 18-20. As I predicted, Cardinals break the 20th point plateau first, but of course that uh, not really uh, indicate, it doesn't indicate much the way the Rattlers have been playing, but the Cardinals have really stepped it up here in set number three, and what looked to be a straight sweep is now in danger as the Rattlers sense the same thing. Coaching staff take the timeout. We'll take one with them. 21-18, to 18, Rattlers trailing in set three. Stay with us. More upcoming. Rattlers. Welcome back, Rattler fans, inside Ruckus, Bill Greer here, Arena. David Tovar, Kayleen Selznak with me. Crosstown, Crosstown rivalry renewed between the Incarnate Word Cardinals and your St. Mary's Rattlers, who trail by three, 18 to 21 in set number three. Rattlers, of course, leading two sets to none, trying to make this a three-set game. That very much in danger. I think that hit the ground. And Obermiller 
able to recover and get that one back. Allie Murray and Lauren Holman coming in. Very, uh, very orthodox because, very unorthodox I should say, excuse me. As we've always seen the pairing of Obermiller and Murray, we alluded to that early in this set. And here they are again, Murray and Holman. Holman keeps that alive. Murray, and now put over by Ortega. Ortega, I believe, has played the whole game. I don't think I've seen her come off the floor. Murray and Paul, and that's going toward the Rattlers as that ricochets off the head of one of the red jerseys. Point Rattlers, they get it within one again, 20 to 21. Allie Murray here has to catch a hot streak, serving for the Rattlers. That one is served nicely. Robero, it's too strong, and I think maybe the anxiousness uh, showing off in that play right there. And Carter were desperate to keep that lead, and now they have it tied at 21 apiece with uh, Allie Murray, who is warming up. There it comes again. Blocked well, and that's going to go against St. Mary's. Point to the Cardinals. 22-21. I think the great thing about the Rattlers rotation is that Murray always somehow finds her way back to the serving spot towards the end of the game. And if you want anybody serving at the end of the game, it's definitely going to be Murray or, or Ortega. Martinez has done terrific. We've talked about on past broadcasts as Jenna Paul, a sensation over there. We've talked about on the past broadcast, Kayleen, how Martinez has really crept up too high, and she's playing defense. Tonight she has been in her zone, in her spot, and it's really paid off for the Rattlers, and uh, this play in particular, showing off the defensive abilities she possesses. 22 all. Yeah, she's played deeper on Ooh. the court so far. Um this match and I think that's good because whenever um, the ball is hit in certain angles you you learn to cross behind the person to the left or the right of you and I think they've been doing a lot better job of doing that tonight and I think that's definitely paid off on the defensive side it paid off for two straight sets this one a lot closer this one reminiscent of the beginning of the first and as Jenna Paul grabs another point ties it right back up at 23 off but yeah, reminiscent to that first set, I think it was pretty even going into the first 10 points. Right around 17, the uh, the Rattlers really starting to pull away. And of course, at number two, one to forget if you're a Cardinal fan. 23 all here. Blocked well, and the Rattlers take that one. 24-23, game point. Game point for the Rattlers, and this one on the freshman, Jenna Paul. Kayleen, how much pressure on this freshman here as this service goes up? Well, there's a whole lot of pressure, but she's definitely not showing that it's getting to her. Able to serve that one nicely, and that one got past Murray, 24 all. And I believe uh, goes to a, uh, got to win by two at Gotta this point. Got to win by two, yes. Here's a service from Incarnate Ward, met by Huber. Kept alive. Rattler's not able to get that point. 25-24 in favor of Incarnate Word. Timeout taken by the Rattlers as they trail by one. Stay with us, set number three. The exciting conclusion upcoming on Rattlers. Yeah, stream live. So in an effort to boost morale and spirit on campus, we thought we'd implement Rattler Rattlers into the hall. Taking this a little too far? Probably. Welcome back, Rattler fans, and exciting conclusion upcoming here in set number three. Rattlers and Cardinals. And you know this one 
It's going to come down to something like this. Rowers. Here are the Cardinals trying to get something across. Murray Martinez. Wow. Holman puts it over. Not challenging enough. Strong and a nice block there. That's Lauren Holman, the freshman. And you had, I believe, two freshmen on the floor with Holman and Jenna Paul. Now you'll have one in Michaela Bass serving. And again, Kelly, I'll kick it to you. Freshman serving, 25 all. This one is to get a, a little bit of an advantage. Up and over. Here come the Cardinals. Rowler's right back in it. It's all square at 25. Huber nicely done. That had a sweet touch on that one. She definitely saw the hole and she, she put it there and thank God for that point. Saw that hole and exploited that one. Timeout on the floor. This one going toward the Redcoats. 26-25. Stay with us. Again, exciting conclusion, we promise you. Rowler's Ustream Live. Hey, is this he taking? Yeah, man. This is uh, for Derek. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, this is. Oh, no, no one's sitting here. Welcome back, Rattler fans. 26-25, game point for the Rattlers. Bass to serve. Oh, this one mishandled. Cardinals got to get this one back. Oh, strong. Met well by Martinez. Ortega, this could have been it. And one more. That one's put over. Met by Martinez. That's it. And the Rattlers take this one in three straight sets. Impressive throughout, 25-17, 25-8, and game, set number three, a thriller, 27-25. Cross-town rivalry, very lopsided on this middle of October night. Rowers take it, three sets to none, and I think we're going to get an interview, so stay with us, Rowers fans. More of coming, your Rowers successful in three sets on Rowers Ustream Live. <laughs> 